is a blood cancer which originates in the bone marrow. We don't know exactly what causes myeloma, but plasma cells in the bone marrow become cancerous and release a large amount of an antibody called a paraprotein. Unlike many cancers, myeloma doesn't exist as a lump or a tumour. Most of the problems related to multiple myeloma come from the presence in the body of these abnormal myeloma cells and the paraproteins. Myeloma is also what's known as a relapsing and remitting cancer. This means that even after a period of successful treatment, when a patient experiences a remission, their myeloma will always return. Myeloma is also an evolving cancer, which means that it becomes resistant to treatment, and when a patient relapses, they will need a different type of treatment to bring their myeloma under control. Around 5,700 people are diagnosed with myeloma in the UK, that's about 15 patients every day. And that means that there are 17,500 people living with myeloma in the UK. That also makes myeloma the third most common blood cancer, accounting for 15% of blood cancers and 2% of cancers generally. Myeloma is most common in patients over the age of 65, but it is diagnosed in younger people also. The incidence of myeloma is increasing. It has increased by almost a third since the 1990s, and that's largely due to the increase in the older population. Prevalence in myeloma is also increasing, partly due to the increase in incidence, but also, thankfully, due to the availability of more and more effective treatments that are meaning that patients are surviving for longer, um, living longer and with a better quality of life. Myeloma can be difficult to diagnose because the symptoms are vague or non-specific. The most common symptoms of myeloma are bone pain and fractures, recurring infections, fatigue and kidney problems. Myeloma patients experience some of the longest delays in diagnosis for all cancer patients at 163 days. This is primarily because of the length of time between a patient first visiting their GP with symptoms and a referral to a hospital for their diagnosis to be confirmed. Actually, over 50% of myeloma patients visit their GP more than three times before they are referred to a hospital. A third of myeloma patients are diagnosed as a result of an emergency admission. This can have serious consequences for patients since diagnosis via an emergency route is associated with poorer survival. One year survival for patients diagnosed via an emergency route is 62%. Um, compared to a one year survival rate of 88% for patients who are diagnosed following a GP referral. Unfortunately, myeloma is currently incurable, but it is highly treatable in the majority of cases. The treatment landscape in myeloma has been transformed over the past decade and um, many patients are living longer and with a better quality of life as a result. 10-year survival in myeloma has quadrupled since the 1970s and now more than half of patients will survive for more than five years. That's obviously very welcome, but myeloma remains a really challenging cancer to live with and to treat and we still have a long way to go. At Myeloma UK, we provide a wide range of information and support for patients their families and carers. We have patient information which covers everything from the latest treatments to diet and exercise or travel. You can talk to one of our dedicated myeloma information specialists on our free phone info line. You could also attend an info day where patients um, can meet leading experts in the UK and also share their own experiences. More information about the services we provide can be found at myeloma.org.uk.